schizophrenia or psychosis or whatever the specific definition or term you want to use is, is the situation where a person's writing gets to a level where they are no longer able to express things in a way people can understand. So in real life, me talking right now, everything is literally, well, not literally, figuratively. No, it's fine. Online, I have been writing and writing and writing, and I've written way more information than I think any person has ever written before. It's, I calculated based on the gigabytes of my Word documents about all sorts of topics. It's, I think approximately, it's over 100,000 pages of text. And I talked about this in another video I made where the situation of something like paranoid schizophrenia or psychosis or whatever you want to call it is the situation of a person who's expressed so much information in writing that they at least subconsciously know what they've written, but they cannot any longer tell the common knowledge or common sense of what other people know. And you can see it, obviously, online with what happened to me. And I was just today, I'm thinking about this and I'm like, who in the world am I supposed to be talking to about this? And nobody I know knows the full extent of it. So I've said this a bunch of different times. I've said a bunch of things a bunch of different times. And I've contacted every single authority and institution I can think of about this. So it's like in person, when I'm speaking with people, my physical presence, literally like this right now, but I mean, it's a video recording. Everything in my real life, in terms of mental health and emotional health and all that stuff is perfectly healthy. But I went completely haywire online. Now, there's a confusion in psychiatry about the difference between schizophrenia and something like dissociative identity disorder or multiple personality disorder. And the issue is, now, I'm asserting this, I'm positively sure of this, but other people, you know, they want other research and stuff done. But I am 100% sure that what happened to me online or what happened with me online, okay, would happen to anyone if they kept writing and writing and making, you know, art, symbolism, symbolic stuff. It would have happened to anyone who went that far. So I just sent you those emails. I'm going to attach this video to another email. I realize that I'm violating the restraining order. It's way too important of a situation with me online. And if obviously it's affected you, it's affected tons of people, but I was trying to communicate with you specifically. I already explained it all over the place, but it's in writing. No one can relate to my writing because they have no clue what the whole thing is they're each seeing little puzzle pieces so if you're looking at the stuff i'm writing you're like dan's crazy it's like yeah online that's what <sighs> schizophrenia or whatever it is yeah the confusion between schizophrenia and multiple personality disorder or dissociative identity disorder basically speech is like a person that everyone has and everyone's writing is basically a subpersonality that is a distinct person from their speech. And it's this huge, you know, what, linguistic issue or something. 
But what happened with me online demonstrates all of this stuff that completely changes tons of perspectives on things, tons of different topics. And I, I'm really sorry for what's been happening to you. I didn't know how much emotional distress you were in this whole time until you sent that paperwork. And I've been under extreme duress also. It's like we got pitted against each other, okay? There's no reason for any of this to be going on. Remember, just hanging out in college? I said this in the email, like, don't worry about the romance stuff. It doesn't matter. This needs, this is a completely different topic. And since 2015, I was trying to contact you about this, really. And it's just gone completely off the rails. I, I literally was like, I was like, I'm willing to just, I was completely willing to break the law just to be able to communicate to you in person because that's what actually matters. So, I mean, it's just so absurd. Yeah, so basically the point of me sending you this video is to express exactly what I was trying to say in those emails. Look at the difference. It's a person talking versus a person writing. It is not the same thing. And this, what's been classified as a mental health disorder is actually what happens when you are a high level writer and you get alienated from everybody because the associations you've made in your writing, no one else knows or can see unless they thoroughly read everything you wrote. And like I said, 100,000 pages of text and Word documents, like, I keep making this joke where it's like, I'm Clark Kent and online I'm Superman. It's like that. It's like a separate alter ego that's out of control. So it's like when I use my hand or fingers to type, it is not, strictly speaking, this person talking. And that scenario is something that every single person writing online is going to run into if they keep writing. Please consider speaking to me in real life. Thank you.